the versatile and powerful BTEC Mobile GMRS 50X1 is something to look at. BTEC, Bao Feng Tech, is known for making cheap radios. This one isn't so much on the cheap side. It's more of a value for money deal. This is a feature rich GMRS radio and there is indeed a lot going on here. So let's try to unpack it one step at a time. At first glance, its appearance is fairly standard. There's a display at the center, flanked by six buttons, three on each side, and one knob on each side. If you've used Bao Feng or BTEC radios before, the buttons will be immediately familiar. The buttons are very much the same as what you'd see on a Baofeng UV5R and similar radios. The channel knob dial is on the left and on the right side you'll find the volume knob. Right below this knob is room for an RJ45 connector where the microphone connects with this radio. BTEC Mobile GMRS 50X1 is fairly compact. The dimensions are about 5.5 inch length and 6.7 inch depth and 1.6 inch height. It will fit into most vehicles without trouble. Ideally, you'll want it somewhere clearly visible so you can read the display. And the display is pretty interesting. There are several lines on this display. At its top, you can see the transmit power. Then there's a line with information on transmit receive capability, voltage, and a couple other functions. A 2x2 two two table follows this line. Each cell in this table shows frequency and channel name. The line at the bottom shows customizable text. Users can customize the color of each line to suit their preferences. Pretty much every aspect of this radio is programmable through Chirp. Again, much of the interface is very similar to conventional Baofeng radios. Users can access most of the features through the microphone, though programming might be a more convenient option. You will need to buy a programming cable separately since it's not included in the box. On that note, you'll also have to buy an antenna before you get this GMRS radio to work. Working through the microphone is convenient too. It has most buttons for controlling the radio and feels comfortable to hold. Its oversized PTT button is unmistakable. BTEC Mobile GMRS 50X1 has max output power at 50 watts. That's the maximum the FCC will allow a GMRS radio to go. Of course, you don't want to run it on max power all the time, so the radio includes options to transmit at low, medium, and high power. The radio works with all GMRS channels. Of course, it doesn't transmit on the seven low power channels reserved by the FCC for handhelds. Other notable features on the GMRS 50X1 include privacy codes, repeater channels, narrow band, and wideband switch, quad standby, NOAA weather channels, FM radio receive mode, and alphanumeric channel storage. To sum up what we like is the attractive price point, clear display with customizable colors and information, the narrow band and wide band switching, the easy management of transmit power, and the good sound quality. On the downside, there is no antenna in the package and the design and construction look cheap near the knobs. Our rating for functionality is 9 out of 10, reliability 8 out of 10, value for money 9 out of 10, for an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best GMRS mobile radio for you? Or do you think another radio is better? Check another video where we reviewed the top 5 FRS radios and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.